The world is on the brink of a global war, so world leaders must speak up by calling the U.S. and Iran to order, unquote. These are the words of international relations analyst Dr. Vladimir Inchidanso on the skirmishes between the U.S. and Iran. He further advised that Africa, and particularly Ghana, must not take sides in the conflict. He spoke to my colleague Martin Esiedudate. The U.S. and Iran are on the brink of war following the assassination of the Iranian military commander Qassem Soleimani by the United States on the orders of President Donald Trump. The Iranians have fired ballistic missiles into a military base which houses American and Iraqi soldiers in retaliation for the killing of the commander. Dr. Vladimir Inchidanso says the retaliatory attack has brought the world to the brink of instability. Already the question of terrorism uh, has created global instability. Even though we claim to have thrown away ISIS, it doesn't mean that terrorism has died. But that is the reality, that the world is now more dangerous than before the killing. What's the worst that could happen really? I mean, it's just one man being killed and two countries are each other. So what's the worst that could happen? No, the worst that could happen uh, would be on two fronts. Any knee-jerk response uh, from Iran would be apocalyptic because Iran would have go to full force destabilizing all American bases around itself in the Middle East. They would go in all fronts to fight America. But America would also retaliate, which means it would mean really attacking the economy. And if this happens, not only the Middle East, but the world will be in turmoil. Yeah. Speaking on how Africa and Ghana should conduct themselves in the wake of the skirmishes, Dr. Inkudanso said the continent's leaders must speak in a unified voice to call both countries to order. Let us assume that 54 African countries, by now, every head of state or the foreign ministries have called American embassies or called Trump mm. or, or, or shown concern. The world is showing concern. Ghana has relationship with America, please. We're showing concern. We have relationship with Iran. We're showing concern. Such plenty of talks can mitigate the tension and that kind of may, but it doesn't necessarily mean. In fact, the onus lies on the two countries to know how to de-escalate the tension, and everybody is calling for it. What we can do, what the Commonwealth, what the AU can do is continue the talking, continue the diplomatic jaw-jaw to both countries to tell them to de-escalate. What role can we play so we do not seem to be siding with uh, either party? It would be stupid, uh, pardon me for my word, but that is the only word. Mm. It would be stupid for Ghana, for example, to try and side. Uh, because when you...